All right, so Dance with Wolves star Nathan Chasing Horse was arrested for sex with minor, and police is also calling him our court leader. Welcome back, Turning Just Lovers. Let's dissect and analyze. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, follow, so we can keep you updated on everything that is happening all around the world. So let's get into the story. Okay, so an actor who appeared in the Oscar-winning film Dance with Wolf was arrested in Nevada for sexually assaulting underage girls and other serious felonies, ending in a two-decade crime spree. Now, this is serious. Two decades. Let's keep going. Okay, so Nathan Chasing Horse was rounded up Tuesday by a SWAT team near his home in Las Vegas where he lived with his five wives. <laughs> you, the land walk. Where he lived with his five wives, he reportedly pa- planned for his wives to take suicide pill and prepare for a shootout with police. He was booked in the uh, Clark County Jail for child abuse or neglect, sex assault, se- um, sex assault, and sex assault against a child and sex trafficking for an adult. According to the 50-page search warrant, Chase Hulse targeted young Native American girls and used his good reputation among tribes in the U.S. and Canada to lure them into his secret web known as a medicine man. Chasing Hulse performed healing ritual and held spiritual get-together, but it was, alleged, it was allegedly all to exploit his victim as the leader of a cult named The Circle. Las Vegas cops say they have identified six alleged victims, some of whom were under 13. Wow. Chasing Horse allegedly recorded his sexual assault and and arranged sexual encounters between his victim and other men who would pay him. The police investigation began with a tip in October 2020. You know what? It just baffles me how people like these can hide in plain sight for so long. How is it that no one ever reports a crime like this from the early stage when the crime just begins? How is it that now they have so many victims and so many people and it's always popular people, it's always known faces that are always committing crimes like this. They all hide in plain sight and I don't get it. But anyway, before we start giving our own analysis, let's just quickly round up uh, this. Okay, so it says the sex crime allegation against Chasing Horse stretched back to the early two thousands wow can you imagine this stretched back to early 2000s and it's not just in Nevada, but also in montana and south dakota chasing horse has not been charged with crime in those other states can you imagine this dates back to early 2000s so it's been how many decades now and this is when the police is finally catching up with him is it that they didn't have enough evidence there are people that were part of this whole thing didn't come out to speak although the report says that most were minors so that i can understand is easier to you know threaten uh, you know younger people and all of that they're saying people under 13 and all of that they're still very young minds and these are things that they might not want to speak about and being that he's a known face a movie and someone that they respect in their community as a native americans i think that's also something and it seems like they are not people that always run to the police to report things you know if you know the history of the all of that so they're not people that so i think it's really really sad that he targeted his own people knowing fully well that they will not speak about this and he was not only doing this to them but he was actually giving them to other people that will actually pay him so he's making money off these young souls and pretending to be a traditional priest or organizing it and all of that it is absolutely terrible he didn't only disrespect his own people he made a fool out of his own people and all of this it is absolutely unaccepted i'm absolutely happy that his crime has finally caught up with him he's been arrested you can imagine if he had gone through with his plans of giving his five wives pills to take and maybe his children and the cult members as the police is seeing him as a cult leader so maybe he has a kind of cult thing going on there but we don't know that's what the police is saying. But imagine if he would have gone through, you know, it's almost like history would have repeated itself of so many other cult leaders that have done the same thing by con- convincing and I mostly call it confusing people's mind and then finally convincing them to 
end themselves and you know unleave themselves from this earth and they absolutely would want to do it we remember so many cases that has happened and that's exactly what this man wanted to do it's really terrible it is absolutely unaccepted and i hope that he gets the highest penalty for this thank you so very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow us on facebook instagram let's dissect and analyze